Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. From the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! So close. How do you like it? Close the show. So aggressive, so focused. Look at these two guys. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Justin Shackle welcoming you to Petco Park in sunny San Diego, California for Matchroom Boxing's final leg of the press tour for Canelo Ryder. Now, Petco Park is home to one of the super teams across Major League Baseball in the Padres. They feature a lot of stars like Manny Machado, Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis, Hugh Darvish, the list does go on, but it's only fitting that boxing's most recognizable star makes a stop here on the way to an unprecedented party coming up south of the border Cinco de Mayo weekend. On Saturday, May the 6th, the four division world champ Saul Canelo Alvarez returns to the ring and returns home. He will get into the ring and face the WBO interim super middleweight champ, the mandatory John Ryder at Estadio Acron in Jalisco, Mexico. And for Alvarez, it is a chance to deliver an undisputed title defense just minutes from his hometown of Guadalajara. It's Canelo Ryder, May the 6th in Mexico, Cinco de Mayo weekend on DAZN and DAZN pay-per-view worldwide, all part of a dynamite spring lineup from Matchroom and DAZN. Just a big athletic machine. Rodriguez! The sky is the limit! Nina! The most stunning finish! Dominant performance over a former champion! Here is the undefeated Virgil! It is a stacked calendar this spring on DAZN, and of course, May the 6th, Canelo Ryder in Jalisco, Mexico. In a few moments, we will hear from Canelo and John Ryder, as well as Matchroom Chairman Eddie Hearn, the trainer for Canelo, Eddie Reynoso, and also Ryder's manager, Charlie Sims. Also, Padres CEO Eric Gruppner will be presenting special jerseys for some of the members on the dais here this afternoon. Without further ado, let's kick off the press conference. Here's Matchroom Chairman Eddie Hearn. Well, good afternoon, San Diego. And uh, thank you for joining us here today at the incredible Petco Park, home of the Padres in San Diego. And thank you to their incredible team for letting us host a very special and important press conference here. The first thing I thought when I walked around here was, wow, we have to do a Canelo Alvarez fight here in the Petco Park Stadium. It would be, it would be incredible. But firstly, we have some very special business to take care of. May 6th, Akron Stadium, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Canelo Alvarez will defend his undisputed super middleweight world championship against John Ryder, live and exclusive on DAZN pay-per-view around the world. And we cannot wait. Sport is, is a business now. But this was something where business didn't count. This was something that was personal to Sal Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso. This was from the heart. This was an opportunity to bring an event back to his people. Regardless of the money, regardless of everything else, it was an opportunity to celebrate the sport, to celebrate his career in front of what will be 50,000 people in Guadalajara on May the 6th. Cinco de Mayo weekend, an event, an atmosphere that I believe you will not witness again in boxing. The whole world will be watching. 
as he defends his undisputed super middleweight world championship against this man, John Ryder, someone that we've worked with for over a decade. He's paid his dues in the sport. He's had his ups and his downs, and now he's on a big up. Victories over Danny Jacobs and Zach Parker made him the mandatory challenger, the interim world champion, and someone that will come to Guadalajara with every intention to win, with a big heart, with lots of strength, and a chance to make history for Great Britain and become the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. But in front of him, the biggest star in the sport of boxing, Saul Canelo Alvarez. The undisputed champion, someone that we've worked with for a long time, for a long time, and I have seen fearless to challenges. There's a lot of opinion in boxing. And what I see from Canelo and from Eddie Reynoso is a pure competitor, a winner, a legend of the sport that he's prepared to take on anybody. His last four fights have been unifying against Billy Joe Saunders, undisputed against Caleb Plant, stepping up in a fight that many say he shouldn't have taken against Dmitry Bivol, and then Gennady Golovkin. The best resume in the sport of boxing, but now coming back off injury, still with a point to prove to some people, crazily, against a man that's there to win it all on May the 6th. This is going to be a tremendous fight, a tremendous card, and I think that people here, and particularly in Guadalajara, should be very proud of Sal Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso for bringing this event to their people on May 6th, live on The Zone. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> to the Challengers team, Charlie Sims, of course, manager and son of Tony Sims, the trainer for John Ryder. It's been a great trip, um, a good taste for John, a long time coming, but your man ready to put it all on the line and only going for victory on May 6th. Yeah, it's been a great experience um, doing this press tour. We had the pleasure of going to the stadium, having a look at the stadium, imagining the ring in the middle of the stadium and what 50,000 people are going to look like. And um, it's been great to spend some quality time with John as well, just, just on this trip. But one person I actually want to take this opportunity to thank who couldn't be here because the schedules clashed was Tony Sims. And Tony Sims is a trainer of John Ryder. He's dedicated years and years to the sport and years and years of developing John to the fighter that he is today. They've been through all the lows together, and now this is the pinnacle. He's going to face the best in the division, the undisputed champion, Canelo Alvarez. I just want to take this opportunity again to thank everybody for making this event happen, but undoubtedly we wouldn't be here, me and John wouldn't be here without Tony today. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you to him, and no doubt he's going to be extremely excited and extremely proud to come May 6th to face Canelo in the ring, who is one of the best. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Charlie. John, I know what this means to you and, and everything you've been through in your career, the incredible run that you're on at the moment. You come here with a low pulse rate, with a, a clear mind, knowing the task ahead, but also the opportunity that it presents. May 6th, Guadalajara, just a, a fight of a lifetime for you. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, but um, it's not been gifted. I've worked hard at this for, for years. Like you say, I've suffered the highs, the lows, and um, yeah, the, the, the bottom of the, the barrel, really. But um, I'd like to take the time to thank you, Sal and Eddie, for making this fight happen. Um, Charlie, for, for working tirelessly back and forth with you to, to get the deal done. And to reiterate what you said about Tony, um, he can't be here because of schedule. We'd like to joke all Dina. Um, we're all in big fights and like, Tony's been a rock in my career and someone has, has, has brought me back from the bottom and believed in me when I didn't believe in myself and, and I thank him for that but I also thank the, the family and friends, you, Charlie, for, for sticking by me and livening me up at times and um, even down to my mum and dad, my partner and Joe you know what, down to myself because if I give up on myself then I wouldn't be here so I've, um, I've dug deep. I've done what I've had to do. I've worked hard to get back into this mandatory position, took the right fights at the right times, and um, I'm just really pleased to be here. I know how disappointed you were when you didn't get the decision against Callum Smith. A lot of people felt you won that fight. It was a very close fight, but that would have given you the opportunity to fight Canelo back then. But after a couple of years' hard work, and probably now a better fighter with wins over Danny Jacobs and Zach Parker, probably the best time for you to take this challenge. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, obviously, the, the decision went against us in, in 2019, and then, then 
the COVID times hit, which really messed everything up. But like you say, and I, I truly believe, timing is everything in this sport. And I mean, it waits for no man, but I feel the time is right for me now. And of course, the atmosphere will be incredible May 6th. And like you say, you're here to win this fight. You know how good Canelo is, but you believe in your heart you can become undisputed super middleweight champion on May the 6th. For sure. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to take part. I'm not here for a holiday. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring the team with me, have the team around me that I have if I didn't believe I could win. So I, I'm going this, leaving no stone unturned, putting everything in this camp. And um, I truly believe I can come away victorious, May 6th. Thank you, John. Eddie Reynoso, um, we had a lot of conversations about this fight. Middle East, Las Vegas, London. Um, and every time you say no, Guadalajara, it must be this time for Saul to come home. May the 6th, a huge moment for the both of you in Mexico. Hemos tenido, hemos tenido conversaciones sobre esto. Ha, ha dicho um, en, el, en Londres, en Las Vegas, en, el, en lo que sea. Y, y cada vez vos dijiste Guadalajara, cada vez el 6 de mayo en Guadalajara. Es un momento enorme. ¿Cómo se siente ya estar aquí con eso? No, pues muy, muy contento, estamos orgullosos de, de regresar a la tierra que, que vio nacer a Saúl como, como boxeador, a mí como entrenador y, y regresar más que nada pues con la mano en alto. No vamos a regresar a retirarnos ni vamos a regresar a, a hacer una pelea de exhibición. Regresamos con los cuatro cinturones que, que Saúl tiene y creo que eso es algo que nos llena de orgullo a nosotros y queremos también que lo disfrute nuestra afición. He's super happy, proud to go back to the place, the, the home that made Canelo the boxer that he is and made him the trainer that he is. And they're going to come back with their hand raised. They're not going to let down. They're not going to retire. They're, they're going to go in there. It won't be an exhibition fight. They're going to return with all four belts that he came with. And that's something that they're going to do with pride. And also, they just really want to put on a good show for the fans. Another great year for Sal, but doing it through injury now, off the back of the operation. He's 100%. You expect the very best of, of Canelo on May 6th. Ha sido un año para para Saul con el con la mano lo que le pasó la operación que tuvo, pero ahora está 100%. Es un gran momento para él para volver al ring en Guadalajara. Sí, tuvo una gran rehabilitación. Estamos ya trabajando fuerte y pues vamos a llegar al 100% y en este 2023 pues vamos a a buscar Eh, muchos retos que, que nos hacen falta en la carrera de Saúl y, y este 6 de mayo pues vamos a, a comenzar. He had a great rehabilitation for his hand and they've been working really hard. He's at 100% and this is going to be a huge 2023. Um, he's going to go up against lots of challenges this year in his career um, and he's just very excited for, for what's to come this year. And finally, Eddie, uh, so many great nights in Las Vegas, in, in Miami, in San Antonio, in Dallas. What will it mean to you and, and your family, and of course the whole of Mexico to bring this event with Canelo Promotions and Clas Atelientes on May the 6th in Guadalajara. Han tenido muchas noches increíbles en Dallas, en San Antonio, en, en todos lados. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significaría estar aquí, o qué significa estar aquí en Guadalajara, volver a Guadalajara y a la tierra donde vienen? Pues, eh, algo, en, algo fantástico para nosotros, como te digo, eh, vamos a ver el estadio repleto y Y pues mucha gente se va a dar cuenta que no es no va a ser como dice el dicho, Saúl va a ser profeta en su tierra, eh, va a llenar el estadio OmniLife y, y estamos contentos y muy orgullosos de regresar triunfadores de, del extranjero, de todo lo que hemos hecho fuera de México y como te, como te digo, lo queremos compartir y que disfruten a su campeón todos los, los jaliscienses y pues también todos los mexicanos. Like he said, but it's going to be fantastic. It'll be an entirely full stadium. Many people will, you know, a lot of, there's a saying that you aren't always a prophet in your home. He says that Canelo will change that. He will be a prophet in his home. He will fill the stadium. He's very proud to return, you know, from as winners from outside of Mexico, from all the fights, fights they've had outside of Mexico. But they want to share it, and they will share it with the people of Jalisco, and they're just hoping that people enjoy that, having their champion home again. Thank you, Eddie. So, um... I felt at the press conference in, in Guadalajara, you looked around at your family and you felt very proud 
at this moment. You know, it was a, a decision that you insisted on, but when you looked around, I saw something in your eye that made you... I don't know whether you thought back to when you were a young boy and a, and a chance to fill a stadium like this in Guadalajara. It's going to be an incredible night on May 6th. Yeah, it's an unbelievable moment for me because I see my grandma, my, my, my dad, my, my mom, my brothers, my family there. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, media guys uh, I saw when I started in boxing. So uh, for me, I feel very proud and I feel happy to, to bring this fight to, to Guadalajara and, and, and give the people um, some of the experience I have in other, in other places uh, as, as the best in the world. How difficult was, was that decision for you? We know that you know, boxing is a tough sport. We know that it's a business as well. But with all the other offers around the world, you, you'd made up your mind a long time ago that this was the one, this was the time. Yeah, I think this is the perfect time to... A long time ago, I, I, I wanted to fight in Guadalajara. But uh, I think this is the perfect moment, perfect fight to, to, to bring uh, this fight to Guadalajara. Obviously, last year, the, the defeat to Dmitry Bivol, the fight with Gennady Golovkin, despite the resume, despite all the achievements, there will always be people that will say, he's on the decline, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that this is a big year for you or you, you know where you're at in your career? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to, to show everybody they won. I feel very good, so I had a lot of, a lot of years in my career, 17 years. Uh, as a pro, so a lot of years, so I have injuries too. I'm not in my best, but uh, uh, I'm very motivated and I'm very happy to be in the gym and train the 100% and, and, and they, they're gonna, they, they gonna see what, what is coming. I'm, I'm very uh, excited, motivated and, and be careful with that. Obviously, all of these belts are yours, one of them, John Ryder is mandatory for, but whenever they fight you, they, they have the opportunity to win it all in one fight. This is, this is a good fighter, a, a tough fighter, and someone that has everything to, to gain on May 6th. Yeah, he, he have everything to win, nothing to lose, right? Uh, he always there, fight with the good fighters and try to, to, to get that opportunity, and now he, he got it, and it's gonna be a, a danger for me, uh, but... Uh, I feel good. Uh, I can help them. And finally, those incredible nights in the Hard Rock Stadium and in Miami and San Antonio, and of course, it's 74,000 in Dallas mm -hmm. uh, for the Billy Joe Sa Saunders fight. I get the feeling that Akron Stadium in Jalisco on May 6th, just when you take that walk, just a deep breath, yeah. memories of, of the childhood, memories of everything that you've given to the sport of boxing will be probably your proudest night yet. Yeah, it's, it, it will be the, one of the best moments in my career, for sure. And the fight with, with Billy Joe Saunders in, in Dallas uh, was amazing. One of the, the most enjoy fights I've ever been in. And, and, and I think in Guadalajara is going to be the same or even more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Well, thank you for coming out today. As we said, May the 6th, Akron Stadium, Guadalajara, live on the zone pay per view. Saul Canelo Alvarez defends his undisputed super middleweight champions against, championship against mandatory challenger John Ryder. It's going to be an incredible event. We can't wait to join us there as we build up to another incredible fight for Canelo Alvarez. We're going to have a head-to-head -head up here now, and the media will be able to get their time with both fighters if you haven't already. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming out today on this beautiful day in San Diego. We'll see you very soon. Thank you.
for the buildup climbing here in San Diego on anticipation for May the 6th in Guadalajara. You saw at the end some of the figures on stage receiving jerseys from San Diego Padres CEO Eric Gruppner with their names on the back. All the hardware draped over the arms of Canelo Alvarez following what figures to be the first, second of many stare downs between he and John Ryder in anticipation of their undisputed title fight coming up at May the 6th in Akron Stadium. Eddie Hearn's gonna join us here. Eddie, welcome to uh, to San Diego. That your right size, that jersey right there? Uh, I thought you said, is that my right side? I was like, I didn't know I have one. Yeah, yeah. sometimes the best bits are getting the jersey. Yeah, I just saw the, the Padres team here. This stadium here, Petco Park, the number one American baseball stadium, it is stunning. We have to do a fight here. It'd be incredible. And But first things first, Guadalajara, May 6th. Uh, it's going to be a great night. It's a hot stadium, a hot venue, but nothing's going to be like what we're going to see at Akron Stadium. And Canelo mentioned it. He referenced the Billy Joe Saunders fight at AT&T Stadium in Dallas. 70,000 fans on hand there. But what will it mean? What, what was conveyed, I guess, from Eddie, from Canelo to you about why this is so important to them? You know, uh, it was amazing in the negotiations and the build-up. You know, Eddie said to me, we'd like to do the fight in Mexico. And I said, Look, let me just explore all the options and I'll present them for you. And there was the Middle East, there was Las Vegas, there was London, there was Los Angeles, and all were significantly more money than Mexico, and, and in some times double. And they were just insistent on it. This was the time, you know, 200 years of independence in Jalisco. This was the moment that Sal Canelo over Alvarez comes home. And just, you know, on Tuesday at the press conference, I just felt, I saw him look at his, you know, his, his nan and his, his mum and his parents, and I felt like he remembered that young boy from, the, from Guadalajara that was selling ice pops, you know, on the, on the roads and the streets, and an opportunity to do something for his people. And I saw that firsthand because I know the deal he took for this fight. And, and like I said, it was, it was never about the money, this fight. It was about a chance to make history and bring an event to Guadalajara that they will never forget. You're going to be seeing a lot of kids at that venue perhaps become inspired that a show like this could be brought to their doorstep. What else is in store for this event? I know we, we see some fighters under the Canelo Promotions brand, the undercard. There have been whispers. Is there anything that you can share with us as far as the undercard goes? Yeah, looking to uh, get Julio Cesar Martinez on the card to defend his world title. And of course, a lot of Canelo Promotions fighters and some matchroom fighters as well. Um, Gabriel Valenzuela has coming off a big win against Ulysses Jr. Potential fight with him and Stevie Spark, who just beat Montana Love, is being worked on at the moment. Alex Godsoffs, um, the former WBC light heavyweight world champion who Eddie trains as well. And a number of uh, Mexican stars that are coming through. And you know, there's such a deep pool of talent in Mexico. And so many fighters never really get the opportunity. I look at people like Maurizio Lara and I think, wow, this kid is the number one featherweight in the world. And if he didn't get that opportunity against Josh Warrington, you probably would have never heard his name. You know, Eduardo Nunes that we saw the other night. These are unbelievable fighters that have the opportunity to rule their division. So we're very lucky to be involved with Mexican boxing, and, and May 6th will be a celebration of that. Uh, coming up, obviously, a, a stacked calendar. I know you were in Dallas yesterday visiting the champ. How did AJ look? You know, they've worked him hard, let's say that. I went in the gym, it was about 120 degrees. He was tired because he's just come to the end. He flew back to London last night. Um, back to basics, to be honest with you. You know, it was uh, humble surroundings compared to what he's been training. I think it'd be really good for him. I've never seen AJ put in work like he's put in for this fight. This is maybe the most important fight of his career. Jermaine Franklin, you see all these people, it's like John Ryder, all of a sudden, you train harder than ever. You know, you have so much more to gain. And that's the same with Jermaine Franklin. He's full of confidence after the Dillian White performance. But AJ has to go out there and dominate him. He has to look good in this fight and send a message to the division and say, I'm back. I want to become world heavyweight champion again. I'm so excited. It feels like his debut all over again, you know? Bundles of pressure. It's going to be an amazing night at the O2. Obviously live on the zone and, and obviously news today as well. You can watch that via the Sky platform in the UK, which is sensational. You know, there are so many ways to watch this great platform now, whether it's via your handset, uh, your mobile, your laptop, your smart TV, and now, of course, on the Sky platform as well. So it's going to be a huge audience and a couple of incredible months coming up. You know, we've got Newcastle on Saturday, the next gen, um, but also as you go into April, April 1st, Anthony Joshua against Jermaine Franklin, not on pay-per-view, you know, available to all DAZN subscribers. 
Then you go to April the 8th, a tremendous card in San Antonio. Bam Rodriguez tries to become a two-division world champion. Akhmad Aliyev against Apales for his mandatory. Ray Ford in a tremendous fight. Galalia Fire, it's an incredible night of boxing. And then you go to April 22nd, one of our best UK cards of the year. Joe Caldina trying to become a two-time world champion against Rakimov. Zelfa Barrett against Dilman Arji in a great fight. Jordan Thompson in a, in a step up in his Cruiserweight uh, Championship. Sandy Ryan goes for the world title there as well. And then you go into May. You know, and by the way, you've also got Stanionis against Ortiz, which is a tremendous fight. And you go into May, Canelo Alvarez against John Ryder, Katie Taylor against Chantel Cameron, and a couple of big fights to announce for May as well. Unbelievable value, as I said, the absolute home of world boxing. And we can't wait to go to Guadalajara in front of 50,000 people in May. We'll wind you up and just sit back as you list off the calendar here. You do make their job easy. You, you mentioned Cinco de Mayo weekend, Mexico, matchroom events are unlike any other, and this is truly a global brand. Did you think about what type of event this will be in Mexico on Cinco de Mayo weekend? We, we live for great nights globally. We live for the atmosphere. We live for the buzz. You know, money's great, but you know, all that we have is memories, and all we have is that moment when you stand behind Saul Canelo Alvarez and watch him walk out in a stadium with 50,000 people. You know, when we did Billy Joe Saunders fight, 74,000 people. I'm, I'm, I'm looking around here now at Petco Park saying, this is a bit of me. This is what we want. We want moments and memories for the sport. We love the sport of boxing. And like you said, and, and a point that you made earlier, there'll be young boys and women, girls, going to the event and looking at people like Sal Canelo Alvarez and telling you that anything's possible. Now, this was a young man that was selling ice pops on the street of Guadalajara. He had a dream, and now he's the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, fighting all around the world, and now bringing an event home. So this is an event to inspire his people. This is an event close to his heart. And uh, those nights globally, we love, we love the sport, Justin. We love boxing. And there's nothing like it, in my opinion. And uh, you know, we're very passionate about what we do. And, and that buzz, that feeling, you just can't buy it. It's a sensational story in and of itself. Canelo Alvarez, this is adding a, another thread to it. Him able to come home and deliver an undisputed title fight here against John Ryder, May the 6th. Eddie, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. We'll see you in Newcastle. We will see you all in Newcastle. A quick reminder, the weigh-in tomorrow for Newcastle comes your way. And until then, for all our fans here in San Diego and for everybody on this Matchroom crew, this is Justin Shackle. We will talk to you in Newcastle tomorrow. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, good